you know, in the U.S., the deficit spending is out of control. And the currency creation, uh, it took 200 years to go from zero dollars in existence, paper dollars, to 825 billion. And then it took just a few months to go to about 1.75 trillion. In March of 2009, they announced another 1.2 trillion. Now when they do that, that's just printing currency. That's like just running the, the printing press. There's a blizzard of paper right now. Never before have all the world's currencies been fiat currencies. All that paper throughout history tries to come and land on this same tiny little pile of metal periodically. Right now, gold has begun this accounting again, <laughs> this time it's going to be worldwide. This is the greatest opportunity in the history of mankind because this is going to be the greatest wealth transfer in the history of mankind. Throughout history, they start off with a cer certain amount of money in their society, gold and silver. And they come out with representations of gold and silver, like paper notes or debased coinage where you're mixing it with copper. And they increase the currency supply. And gold and silver sort of lays dormant, it lays in ways until the public realizes uh, they start to sense the inflation of prices that are caused by the inflation of the currency supply. And then they rush back toward gold and silver to protect their purchasing power, and in doing so, uh, they bid the price up until it accounts for the currency supply. And that's your opportunity. That's this enormous wealth transfer. When a government abuses its currency system, gold will do this.